power to the people on back for a reason if you clicked on this video I meet you with greetings just got home man I just got home I just walked through the door and I'm gonna talk about oh hold on hold on hold on if you don't like my reviews come in some slack if that ain't get enough part of my back matter of fact excuse me pardon me that is the wrong one if you don't like what I'm kicking, like what I'm spitting, just know when you tune to this, the cloth is different. Fast and Furious 9. F9. Whatever you want to call it. F9 sounds like some sort of a fighter jet out there. Whatever you want to call it. Just watch this film. Decided to give my synopsis. It's not going to be long at all. If you guys haven't seen it yet, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, like I'm going to talk about the whole film, which is not going to be long, but I'm going to talk about the film, alright? Spoiler alert, so yes, F9, <sighs> my expectations were to be entertained, in some form or fashion, to be entertained, right? So, I don't think I had high expectations. I just wanted to be entertained. Okay. From the door, when the movie first came on, it was some sort of a like, flashback scene. It was a lot of flashback scenes in this film. I wasn't digging it too much, right? Wasn't digging it. It showed you, it went back and showed you how Dom's dad died, how he did time, and it moved on from there. Okay. I don't think that they needed to try to be so detailed in this film. Like, have fast cars, explosions, be cool. Like, I don't know where they got this notion to say, hey, we want backstories and detailed description about what happened in the past and good writing. The writing sucked in this movie. It sucked. It, it, it sucked. I'm, I'm being very honest. It sucked. That's lack of a better term. It sucked. All right. So I, I jotted some things down that I noticed when looking at this film, right? Tyrese and Ludacris showed up when they were on the farm living happily ever, happily ever after, right? Then they just just disappear. Who's babysitting the kid? Who I don't I don't know, man. My art brain, I'm so meticulous. I notice these type of who's babysitting the kid? Like who's taking care of this kid? They just get up and leave. Just bang, just get up and leave. I don't know what's going on with this kid. Somebody called Child Protective Services because they're not good parents. They just left the kid, just just vanished, all right, to go on a mission. Who's, where do they get money from? What's their occupation? Like, what job, I mean, what job is that? Like, how do you apply, first of all, to get the jobs that they get? This abundance amount of money. Like, wh who are they? Where do they learn these martial arts skills at? They don't get punched in this whole movie. They do not. Han is, Han is the only one that gets beat up. Everybody else, they don't get punched. I don't know where did they get these rumbling skills from. Who trained him? The guy, uh, uh, Pai Mei from Kill Bill, did he train him? I'm confused. I, I, that's another thing that I noticed. The one-liners from Tyrese, no. Just awful, 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 awful. It was, an, it was a scene in the movie where Don was fighting like... 50 men, I'm not even joking, 50 men and rumbling them. Didn't get punched in the face at all. Throwing them off of balconies. It was insane. He needs to fight the Hulk, Thor, Captain America, Tony Starks, and Thanos all at once. After this display, he's impervious. And speaking of impervious, I need to know who designed the t-shirt that he wears. Who designed it? These white t-shirts that I need to know. Are they dry fit? Hanes? Nike? Who designed them? Because they're impervious to dirt, blood, everything. They stay super clean. I need those white t-shirts. Whoever designed them, somebody please inform me so I can buy them. So I don't have to worry about you know, eating spaghetti and the sauce getting on. I, now with the t-shirt that Don wears. Not at all. Like You won't get anything on them. Cardi B, why is she in the film? Is product placement? Is this product placement? 
Cardi B, man. She helped him escape from London. Like, the CGI was terrible. And it, it, saving people with cars was the thing in this movie. Like, if you're falling, let's just put a car here to save you. Get up free from injury. That was that was a thing in this movie. A lot of bullets were flying and nobody shot. Not at all, man. Not at all. Oh, out of space on cell phones. Yeah. Tyrese and Ludacris went out of space. I kid you not. They were communicating with earpieces out of space. Whatever cell phone provider or whatever, I need to find them as well. I need to know who Verizon, Sprint slash T-Mobile, at and I need to know. If you can get service like that, I'm all in. I am all in. John Cena is in the film. Uh, he starts off as as the villain, then he becomes like Dom's ally to take down Charlize Theron, who's the villain, who's in this bubble for a second, doesn't change clothes. I don't know how long she was in this bubble, but she never changed clothes. Sleeves were missing from. I don't understand. <laughs> He just never has sleeves. He got so I'm assuming that he gets his shirts and rip off the sleeves or cut off. The, probably rips off the sleeves. I don't. I don't understand it. Yeah, Charlize, Charlize Theron is like the mastermind. They're trying to stop Armageddon, this like device that can destroy the world. So this is what the team is trying to stop. I don't know who they work for, CIA, FBI, I have no idea who they work for, but this is the mission, let's stop, you know, Armageddon from this device, okay? Magnetic fields, I don't know how they work, but in this movie they work, I'm just confused how these magnetic fields work with, you know, flipping over cars, certain, I thought a magnet attracts, but they had it where it propels as well. Yeah. Confused. Dominic Toretto once again. This scene, right, where he's this huge truck and he's falling, is falling down a cliff. He manages to get to the driver's seat. It flips over. He manages to steer it, get control of the vehicle, steer it. Turn the truck so missiles won't shoot in a particular area. Truck explodes. He jumps out. Does some like regular jump. And it's cool. Right. N enough said, man. Listen, nobody died. Nobody. Oh, Shad Moss made an appearance in this one. Nobody died. A lot of bullets flying. These guys learned martial arts. Uh, the women were getting punched and kicked and no bruises on their faces. Makeup perfectly fine. Dominic Toretto dove for 100 feet. Survived Letty somehow. Dove and saved him. And they weren't wet after, you know, doing that. So, yes. In the end, I guess it made it seem like Brian is back. Because the skyline that he drove in Fast and Furious, Too Fast, Too Furious, yeah, that, that popped up at the end, right? So, yeah, that's the film. Uh, I'm giving it 4 out of 10. For Sebastian's all work out of 10. And I, these, these films are made for like 16-year-olds, honestly. Take all logic and throw it out the window, all right? 4 out of 10. <laughs> Listen, remember, big shots done with a little shot he kept shooting. If you don't like my reviews, cut me some slack if that ain't good enough. Pardon my back. <laughs> Hopefully, man, I, I, got, I got a dope film to talk about next week. This was crazy, man. Anywho, man, hold it down to the meantime I drop another review. Oh, yeah, follow me on Instagram at underscore Sebastian West. I forgot to even mention that, yo. Pardon my back, man. Salute.